Hey guys, today we are going to be taking some super cute Christmas pictures of the horses. As you can see, Zoro has his cute little antlers on in this video. I started by using this thing. Please ignore that I put it over the crossed eye. I swear I fix it. Um, I bought this thing to put in my Christmas tree like five years ago and I don't really use it. So I thought it would be a good makeshift wreath to go on the horses because it didn't have to go over their heads and I just tied it with some, you know, bailing twine, tried and true. And once I got it on there, uh, they all really did want to eat it and I don't blame them, but it had some cute little jingle bells on it. So every time they walked, they um, jingled and it was very cute. I also put this fluffy halter I got from Lemire on them because I think it gives super wintry Christmas vibes and I just love it in general on all of them. I think it is so pretty. Once I got it on him, I kind of took him to a door so that I could get the light on his face but the background be kind of black because I wanted to achieve that look and it took a lot of work to get him to stand still. He is already kind of fidgety and really kind of likes to push on you so it took a lot of work to get him to stand still and take a good picture. The light here was really good but he could see that grass and he really, really wanted it. Um, my boyfriend, who is also not a horse person, was also recruited to hold him and he is a lot. So I'm glad we got any pictures of him. I was trying to manage and take pictures at the same time, which is kind of a little difficult. But we, you, you know what, we made it work with some antlers on. And finally, after getting a couple shots here, we do move to another location in the barn to try and take the grass temptation away. Here we move into a hallway where there is no grass, so maybe he would stand a little bit better, and he did. I mean, he always, he's always rushing to, you know, go somewhere and go there fast, but he stood so good. I was so proud of him. Um, ignore how dirty he is. Tried to really dust him off before we took these pictures, and I missed so many spots. But you can't really see in the pictures, you know. So was it really even there? If you can't see it, whatever. And he shook my makeshift wreath off, which was super funny. Kind of shocked it didn't spook him, honestly. But he was really chill, super cool. Uh, cooler than normal. And then I put these cute little antlers on him and got some pictures of those as well. He was very patient with me. Uh, you'll see that they are all way more patient than I would have been. And next is Chester. And I tried to get this thing around his neck, but his neck is too dang big if you've ever seen him in person he is literally huge like his looks are very deceptive he is ginormous and so tall and he really really wanted to eat the fake holly and the pine cones and everything and he was very mad at me for not letting him and i couldn't get it around his fat neck um so we had to switch to some tinsel <laughs> For some reason, he wanted to eat the tinsel even more, and I had to really work on not letting him do that. I guess it kind of looks like, hey, I don't know, it's very, very shimmery, but he really, really wanted it. As you can see, I'm having to, you know, make sure he doesn't ingest any of this, because I don't think that would be good. And he already kind of has a, a finicky stomach, so I don't want to put any sparkles down there to make anything upset. And this was a lot easier to tie than the other thing, but it didn't jingle. And the jingle was very cute. He was very good though, honestly, and he's very patient. I think he likes getting his picture taken. You can see here he's standing really good. He always somehow manages to pose. He does get a little impatient. He's trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. And here I do try to get these antlers on him. And he is not having it at all. No, absolutely not. He says, uh, you are not putting those stupid things on my head right now. Uh, as you can see the look in his eye. Uh, so I gave up. I did not try and push that too hard. He was 
very, very upset by them. So I did not push it. Took a few more pictures with just the tinsel and called it a day with Chester. He is so pretty. I know not a lot of people love sorrels, but I do and I love Chester. Next was Scout and I got the holly thing around his neck because his neck is not as bad as Chester's, but it took a lot of work to get it to stay. Like I had to go back and tie it like five times. It did not want to stay, but I mean, my method wasn't great. I just picked some baling twine off the ground and called it a day and tried to do this all by myself using only me and get it around their neck and tie it. So there was a lot of uh, user error going on. <laughs> so pretty in this clip. I really like the red against him and he's looking. We've got him so shiny. Also gained a lot of weight since we got him and that makes him look so much prettier too. Uh, this took me literally forever. Like I'm not even kidding but it looks really really pretty on him so it was worth it and I just let his mane down. He has so much gorgeous hair and since I'm not worried about his mane making him hot I'm completely fine with letting it down, especially for these pictures. And I do take the cross ties off because I'm not about to photoshop that. The lead robes already make me have an aneurysm. He is a little bit harder to, to keep focused. He likes to eat and he likes to eat a lot. And he is always moving. His body cannot stand still. And it's kind of funny sometimes. So we're really having to work on him here. <laughs> he just always wants to leave out of every situation no matter where he is he's always wanting to go somewhere else and then i got this super cute video with him and he looks so so pretty in it it's so cute and i love it he looks so good with the red and the christmas colors and this is just a cute video in general here's a video from the two seconds i attempted to get a video of soro but it's cute in its own way he really really wanted to eat and he does not have the best ground manners he is retired and i really only mess with him to get him out in the pasture and occasionally i brush him off so we're a little rusty and here is chester snooping and being curious as to what in the world was happening because this was before i got him out for his pictures and now it is time to edit i don't think i've ever watched a photoshop tutorial in my life my attention span is about 15 seconds so i'm doing this all based off of trial and error from what i've done if you want to do this i'm sure there are great tutorials out there and i hope you have a way longer attention span than i do but i just layer via copy and erase kind of around put the other image at the bottom and then black out under the cutout i don't know if that makes any sense just just go find a tutorial because i ain't the one My computer is ancient and slow and struggles, so here you can see the background slowly fade to black. I think it really makes them pop against the background and makes the colors pop, so I think it's super cute. Here 
I removed the lead rope using the clone stamp tool and here are their finished pictures. I love them so much.